We have Dewey here tonight on guitar. So we're gonna do a little acoustic for you. Hope you guys like acoustic music. And this one's called Forever. Girl, Ashley DuBose. I'm here tonight at the Titan Night Show at KMOJ Radio Station. Make sure you tune in every weeknight, 7 to 10, for the show. And shout out to 612 Film. Shout out to um, my whole team, everyone who's just been supporting and loving on me and spreading the music. I love you guys. I love you so much. God bless you. 89.9 KMOJ, the People Station. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Tight at Night, Ashley DuBose. One of my favorites is in here tonight. How you doing? I'm good. She's here, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like dancing a jig, but for the most part, oh my goodness. tonight is a special night because this is her night to chop it up with us for her song, Lose a Good Thing, which got rushed five days. And she actually yes. did not submit that. I'm going to keep that on the hush hush, though. But how you doing? I'm good. I'm really good. Hello, everybody out there listening, tuning in. Thank you for being on time. Mm -hmm. I'm lying. She was late, y'all. Superstars always ah, late. Ah, <laughs> didn't have to know that. I'm just messing with you. All right, so what's been new? How you been? What's been going on? Man, I've been good. I've been pretty busy, uh, keeping really busy with uh, music and parenthood and work and all that in between. And um, Yeah, but I've been blessed. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's good busy. Right, right. Yeah. Now, for those who do not know or haven't, you know, listened or heard of us having an interview, because this isn't your first with us. This is like your third, second? This is my second. This is your mm -hmm. second. Tell us about Ashley DuBose. Who are you? Where are you from? What's up? Okay, well, I was born in Philadelphia, but I grew up in St. Paul, Minnesota. And so the Twin Cities, um, I call Minneapolis and St. Paul like home to me. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm also a full-time professional and a mother. I just graduated college in May, so I can't call myself a student anymore. I like that title. Congrats. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just came out with an album last May, which, of course, you know about, but maybe some of you tuned in, tuned in do not know about it. And I've been doing a lot of performing and um, things surrounding that release of my album. I've been doing a lot to do with music, though. So. Okay. The song, Lose a Good Thing. Mm-hmm. All right, we didn't notify you, which we don't, when we actually play artist music on Russia to Flush It. Tell us about it. I was, it was like seven something in the morning. Um, I had an eight o'clock class. I was in college, this was last year. And I was frying an egg. And I was just at the stove just thinking. I think a lot. Like, I think, if you can't tell. Sometimes pretty, too much, right? Too much. Like, sometimes I want to turn it off. But, so I was at the stove cooking this egg. And I just was thinking about all the things. I actually started started writing a song about myself like my own ambitions and things that I kind of seek to make me happy and then I get it and then it doesn't satisfy I was that. about to ask you who who was it what was his name well, see, <laughs> no but no and see I that's how it started that's how the idea started so I was like you know you think things are going to be better once you get this or that and I'm sure it's something that a lot of people deal with not just me but then when I started to write I actually was given a beat by my producer and once I sat down to actually purposefully write the full song to this beat, I turned it into like a relationship kind of thing. Because it's the same is true in relationships. When people cheat or when people have wandering eyes, they're looking at this one and that one thinking it's going to be better than what they have right there in front of them. We have a sister on the line. I believe her name is Coco. Coco, you there? Hi, yes, I'm, I'm here. All right, you had some words you wanted to share with Ashley. Go right ahead. Hi Ashley, my name is Courtney. I'm calling from South Minneapolis. Hi Courtney. And I was hi, I was listening to your song and I really just wanted to give you, you know, your props. That's really a good song. 
you know, I like the second verse where you went high on it. It was, I can't sing, but you know what I'm talking about. You killed it. It's new. It has swag on it. You really represented Minneapolis. That song is really good. You should be proud of yourself, sister friend. And you should, you know, keep doing your thing. Stay positive because, you know, everybody not a hater. And, you know, I just really want to support your music and support you. And just keep doing your thing. May God bless you. Oh, thank you so, so much. That put a big smile on my face. God bless you, too. Thank you, Coco. KMOJ, what you got to say? Hey, I just wanted to um, say that Ashley's song is a good song. Me and my friend Rodney here. Uh, and it's, it's a good song. Uh, we liked it, and we liked the little rap part she got off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I can hear myself on the radio. That's dope. Okay, well, anyways, um, that's all I want to say. And you guys are playing good music, and we love it. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel really, really good. I can't explain it enough. Now, it's one thing to, you know, be a quote-unquote celebrity or, you know, certain level celebrity. What we got to do to put you on the map or to pretty much make the whole world notice the talent that you have and the voice that you have? You know what? More than anything, I just want my music to get spread around. Like, if, I, if nobody ever knew who it was, but the music was getting out to massive amounts of people, that would make me happy. I don't, I don't want to be, like, in the spotlight because that's not the kind of person I You're am. supposed to I be. know it comes with the territory. I know I can't help it. Like, you can't have one without the other. But what would it take? Just tell your friends, tell your family tell people about it play the music like if you're a dj or if you're ever hosting a party if you play my music if it fits you know the the occasion do that like that would that is how a word spreads and that's what it would take i think you want to take some more callers yes i like talking to the people kmoj who is this yeah this is dougie from the south side all right dougie what you got to say brother man she needs to get signed right now <laughs> <laughs> she need a record deal I mean, the music was so natural, man. She sound real good, man. Well, thank, thank you, brother. Cam OJ, what you got to say? Yeah, this is Kathy from Mankato. All right. Uh -oh. I, I, I want to say something to Ashley. I want to give Ashley her props. She's doing her thing. And may God bless her and prosper her. So she got it going on. Thank you. Cam OJ, what's happening? Yes, I just wanted to tell Ashley that we have Prince. And we need another, we need another star, uh, and a lady star, and just want to encourage her to keep on. Her style is beautiful. I've been in music all my life, and I know she can hit. All she has to do is get out there and be heard, and it's just like you don't know if you got a good cereal, unless you taste it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just styles, man. Yeah, it's styles, man. Yeah, man, let him know that man, it's her turn, you know, and we do need another star, and if you don't get it, it could be her to encourage her, you know. Thank, Thank you, you, brother. See, you got love all over the city. Oh, oh my, ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a moment, a moment for Ashley, just to let y'all know. We want to thank y'all for calling. Um, y'all are very much touching her. She is a mother, okay, a, a working woman. And saying that, how is it? Is it very difficult? Yes, it gets hard. Um, I do have a lot of support, though. I mean, I don't want to make it seem like I'm doing it all on my own. But I tell you, like, I really needed to hear that because it's really encouraging. Because music is like, you know, it feeds my soul. And I don't ever want to imagine not being able to do it, um, you know, to the, to the, I, I don't ever want to think about my dream not coming true. Like, I still have that hope. But when that hope goes, and if, when it feels like it's about to slip, it's so scary. And like just being here tonight and hearing all the great things and the encouragement from these listeners, it really helps and it really encourages me to keep going and keep pushing. Ladies and gentlemen, as she collects herself, we want to thank all of you that's actually calling right now. And thank you to everyone who called in to rush the song, too. I appreciate them. We'll be back with more Saturday night right here on the one and only station, 89.9 KMOJ. God bless. Right. And it's so magical, it's so wonderful Once I felt the world and I don't want to come down I wish it could be forever you and me Right here, right now I, 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 I. Grab your game and we can fly and never ever land I know I'll be safe cause I'll be flying with my Superman To infinity and beyond I wish that this could last forever 
endeavor. 